If you're watching this video, it's because you're awesome, and you're about to learn something that makes you even more awesome. Okay, today we're going to go over how to operate the Excel or Rotunda torque converter flushing machine. As you can see, this is uh, made in Chicago, Illinois. It's the same company that makes the Rotunda. Uh, if you look up here in the cabinet, you'll see that the Rotunda is primarily for Ford, and so the only thing different you'll notice is the attachments here with the Excel it's for multiple vehicle use so you get the adjustable uh, attachment here and how you use this is first you put your torque converter on the adapter plate which you see has multiple slots for multiple different torque converters and it does spin, but it doesn't spin when you're setting up. First thing you want to do is loosen up this wing nut. Sorry, can you see that? A little bit of light that we have shining down there? Okay. And you spin that out of the way. You take the attachment. And, you know, did I say after? Because you got to put the torque converter on here first. With the pilot in this hole and put your nuts and bolts in from this side just treat this like a flywheel insert this into the torque converter and then this part is what slides towards the tor torque converter and it has a relief right here that needs to point towards the bottom then you take this L bracket and spin it over toward that relief and push it so that it collapses this shield around the hub of the torque converter and tighten down the wing nut. Then you're ready to come over to the controls because your torque converter will be in there and all your attachments attached. And you'll see here, yeah, there's better light that direction. You have your timer. But first you want to select either pump or cycle. And when you put it on pump, you look over here, the fluid comes from inside the machine through, this, through the pump and through this hose, goes through the attachment into the torque converter. Then it, it spills out around here, drops back down into the machine. So you want the lid closed for operation. If you want it to cycle so that you get a much better cleaning of the torque converter, then you first need to look down here and there's attachment to attach an air hose right here from your air compressor to supply air to the machine for a cycle which is also known as pulse mode. So some other machines here it will say pulse where this one says cycle. The same thing. And then of course the the middle or neutral position is the off position. Uh, pump is also useful for another capability of this machine, which is flushing the cooler in, in the vehicle. So to do that, you have these attachments here. And you would disconnect this attachment for the torque converter, set it aside, Attach this hose, supply hose, to go to the vehicle, and then run this to the vehicle and attach this transmission hose to one of the transmission lines on the vehicle heading to the cooler of the vehicle. You'll want to get another piece of just regular transmission hose from any parts store, attach it to the other line for return and just let it droop in here to return the fluid to the machine or like some guys like to do they like to tie something on the end of the hose to filter the fluid as it comes back so that you don't get a bunch of nasty fluid in the machine if you 
take your return line and put like some guys do put it in a five gallon bucket you would have to be very careful to watch the machine and make sure the machine doesn't run out of fluid you never want to run the machine with no fluid because that's what lubricates the pump and this of course goes back in here that sounds really easy it sure is there's really not anything else to it other than when we ship this thing well there's some there's some uh, some literature comes with it there you need one of these adjustable wrench and a flathead screwdriver is all you need for operating it and there's some extra torque converter nuts and torque converter bolts and clamps for hoses that sort of thing um, but of course, whatever torque converter you're using, you're going to have the nuts and bolts from off of the vehicle as well to attach to the plate. And then there's some extras here. In case you drop one. Yeah, in case you drop one. At the bottom rear is an access panel for easy replacement of a spin-on filter. Just like a car filter. Just above the filter is a pet cock like the ones you would see on a car radiator. This is for draining the tank. It is a good idea to keep a drip pan under the filter and drain valve. Please be certain to fill the reservoir with three to five gallons of clean transmission fluid or mixture of solvent and fluid. Never use pure solvent. Welcome to St. Auto. We're so glad you're here. We don't just do repairs and tool reviews. Bienvenida a St. Auto. Nosotros no solamente hacemos rep reparaciones de autos. We also film hot rods and mod rods, project cars, classic cars, antiques. Nosotros también filmea autos antiguos, mod rods, hot rods, cualquiera. We also like to take you with us to the car shows and the cruise ins. So make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Me la gustaría llevarte con nosotros a los cruisings y car shows. Entonces, empuja ese botón y toca la campaña para no pierda nada. Thank you for watching our videos. Many of the events, shows, and people that we feature support much needed charities. Bastante de eventos que nosotros filmean soporta caridad. Please take a child or a friend to one of these events and make sure that they're aware of all the good works that the great people of the car community do. Por favor, lleva un niño o un amigo a los eventos para que sepa de buenos trabajos que hacen los coordinadores de evento. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.